Hey guys, the name is Chris Barocci, welcome to Gear Corner. Today, I wanna to show you a brand new pedal I'm really excited about. I'm proud to be the first person in the world <laughs> to try this one out and to show you guys what it's all about. It's, it's a fuzz, but it's also an overdrive and it's kind of a treble booster too. It's absolutely ridiculous and it's called the Castlater Vintage King. I've never seen or played a pedal like this. It's, it has a trick. It's a genius move, but it's also a simple and logical thing to do. So I cannot believe that I've never seen anyone else doing it. I'll explain everything in a minute, but first let's start with the basics. Also, if you enjoy my videos, please hit subscribe and ring the notification bell. And also check out the description box below. You'll find all kinds of extra infos, my signal chain, all the gear I'm using and links. If you want to check them out, um, timestamps and my merchandise in case you want to purchase something and with that support the channel. As you've just heard, the Vintage King is a fuzz pedal. It has two early 80s, super rare NOS uh, silicon transistors, and it's based on the silicon fuzz face circuit. But the mind blowing part is that with its clever design, you can turn it into a tight overdrive slash distortion, and even into a treble booster too, if you want to. Let's start with the knobs. Volume and fuzz are super simple, they don't need any explanation. The one in the middle, the beard, that's the magic knob. I'll play a couple of settings first and let you try to guess what it exactly does. <laughs> So, the beard knob 
changes the value of the input capacitor and with that it allows more or less low end to pass through and reach the two silicon transistors where the distortion happens. It sounds simple, but this has a huge effect on the pedal's tone and the, well, the nature of the pedal. It literally changes a killer phosphate type tone to a tight overdrive or even to a treble booster. In order to make all of that sound good at every setting, you need very specific components. And that is what makes, in my opinion, the Vintage King so cool. I immediately had to think of all the people commenting like, I like fuzzy distortion, but not that much full on fuzzes. Well, that's super easy with this pedal. You just turn the beard knob to around one o'clock or maybe two o'clock and there's your fuzzy distortion. And if you want to fine tune and tweak your proper fuzz tone, just go anywhere between three o'clock and like maxed out. It's, it's genius. <laughs> And one more thing I really like about the pedal is its cleanup with the guitar's volume knob. Let me show you that. As told, with the beard knob, you can fine tune how fuzzy and thick that fuzz tone should be. I mean, that's the ultimate solution for humbuckers, right? Those tend to over compress uh, fuzz pedals pretty often because they just have more output and more low end than single coils. So you plug in your humbucker guitar, turn the beard knob just a bit back until you hit the sweet spot with those pickups and that's it. By the way, that's the trick Dunlop did on the Joe Bonamassa fuzz face. They reduced the amount of low end the input section of that pedal lets through, so it works way better with humbucker pickups. Now here, you can adjust that low cut feature on the fly, which clearly makes this pedal ridiculously versatile. On the left side, you'll get all the treble booster kind of tones. Then uh, around the middle, you have a nice overdrive. It's pretty tight too. And from like two o'clock, three o'clock, uh, you arrive in that thick, big fuzz tone territory, which is great. And one thing about the fuzz uh, knob, what I love is that unlike many, well, traditional fuzzes where maxed out is the only really good tone or nearly maxed out, you can put this knob wherever you want. Like you can go with the fuzz way back and it doesn't sound dead. It doesn't sound sort of uh, just slow and meh. It works great, which is something I really appreciate about it because I love lower game fuzz tones. My thoughts on the Vintage King. I mean, it's not rocket science to make the amount of low end adjustable that is allowed to pass through the, the input section of the pedal, but to think of that feature, to make it fully adjustable with a knob and to make it sound that good, oh man. Uh, since a fuzz face type circuit is relatively simple, 
every single component matters. And if you change anything in the circuit, all the other parts react to it and everything will feel and sound different to play. For that reason, it's a very delicate thing to design a circuit like this, especially something like the Vintage King, which offers so many radically different and great tones. <laughs> I mean, I can see using this as a, a lower gain overdrive, even stack it with other overdrive pedals on my board. And on top of that, it has one of the best fuzz tones I've ever heard. So uh, it's a keeper. I think I found the fuzz equivalent of my favorite overdrives. <laughs> pedals that I can always use and always know that it will work with whichever guitar, whichever amp I'm using, for whichever style I'm using them. This does the same thing, uh, just as a fuzz, which is uh, kind of refreshing. All right, guys, let me know what you think about the Vintage King down there in the comments below. See you next week in a new video. Meet you down there in the comments. I'll be back. Bye-bye.